We have uh, moved on uh, from the Czech Republic uh, to Slovakia, and we're at a very interesting place uh, where they make custom composites. What is the name of the place? You say it. Yes, it's Prevali. Oh, okay, yes, Prevali is the name of the town, a beautiful mountain town here that we've just driven to. And Stefan um, works uh, with a collaboration with these folks uh, for uh, the composites that he uses in uh, some, of the, uh, some of the vehicles that we have seen a little bit earlier today. So, first of all, this is Alan, yes? Yes, yes my name's Alan. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about your business? When did you start? We start, I mean, probably 20 years ago. Okay. We starting we first with the airplanes and make molds for airplanes and master models for airplanes. So that's the majority of your business and that's how you got started and now working with composites in a number of different things including bicycles and velomobiles? Yes, we starting first velomobiles, I mean we starting for Velomo NL, for the Strada and Quest and after we start more projects, I mean name, but for the Stefan, we starting work on the uh, WAF and for the Challenger, for the Euro circuits, what have now the uh, Quad Velo. Stefan, from your point of view, how did you first encounter these folks? Yes, uh, I started with another company in Czech Republic and uh, we came here because we, we heard that they are producing for Velo by NL at that time. And uh, they started to make already parts for the WoW 2 in 2013, that was yes, 10, 10 years ago. 10 years and ago. then, yeah, and then my Czech pro producer had some issues and he couldn't deliver anymore. And then I, I started to work exclusively with these guys and uh, I'm, I'm very happy because they're very good at that. How about we take a look inside and yes. see what you guys do? Can you tell us what we're watching here? What's going on here? Now it's the first layup, we'll be laminating here. It's the first layup of glass. We starting this the yellow one is the Kevlar, what you see, but this all it's for the the place where it must be hard. And I mean this is all we can see this is the inside it's carbon. Here where it's the chain coming to more layup, it's thicker. And this is a special epoxy that you yes. use, right, to apply? Yes, this is the special epoxy what we use for the airplanes, for the velomobiles. Yes, yeah. the first layup is from the glass. It's You can see all the bubbles inside, where it's the... And after coming the Kevlar and the carbon. On the oil. They, it's important it's that they see where there are air bubbles, and that's why they use the glass. and then they are sure that there is no air bubble left because we work with gel coat here. Means that the first layer is the, the, the pig, contains the pigment and we will not coat afterwards. It's very important that no air bubble is left or to, otherwise after it will be used, it will pop open and you would have a damaged film mobile. Right. So what are we looking at here? The mold for a wow? Uh, the main part, the body part, part okay. but it's only half. The second half we have Right, the, 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 another the, room. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and this when the bottom, it, yes, and then this is the top. When uh, it's finished, all two parts on the all ups, we put together and screw it together, and make the small part here laminating. These guys do good work. Look at this. Yes. Good and fast. Good and fast. <laughs> so cheap. Alan, so uh, we have some smaller parts here. What do we have? Yes, this is the smaller parts. This one and this one. This coming to the body of aft. This is going inside. When it's all finished and coming from the mold, we going inside where it must be stronger. This so these are like reinforcements, yes, yeah? Yes, all, all these small parts. This is all for the waft. These two parts, it's for the quad bell. Okay. This one is for the uh, chain. He coming inside the chain. Mm -hmm. It's, I don't know, the cover for the chain. Mm -hmm. This two is the, for the wheel, wheel cover. Wheel pants. Yes. Right? Okay. And these two small parts is where you're going inside the waff, where you have put the hands the when coming. So yes, and holds. It's 
You don't even must be think about that. That's really interesting. You have to do all these reinforcements. That's being worked on, and now when you're done, this yes. is what this is what you have. Yes, this coming out on the mold. We cutting all, and this coming inside the body. We gluing with the same the, with resin, mm -hmm. and it's the this is not too much strong. But when you going inside, it's too hard. All these parts. All right, Alan, so we saw the bottom half being worked on, and now this is the top. Yes, this is the top of the mold. Uh, here it's the same laminating, but here we include the magnet inside, the Naudi magnets. It's for the when coming the uh, cover for the head. You put on your magnets, and it's... It's secured stay, with yes, the magnets. Secure, yes. And uh, after this finish, we have all uh, finished and we will put together and going. Okay. Oh, wow. From the So that's for the cockpit of an airplane. Mm -hmm. And this is the windshield. Oh, Quad, Quad velo. Velo. Okay, what yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, uh, do you want to see how they are cutting this? Yes. It will make a lot of noise and dust, but... Uh, we, well, we want all the noise and all the dust. David. What are we about to see here, Alan? Yes, this is the uh, small the floor for the quad. For the quad velo. Quad velo, yes. We can see the cutting. Cutting. And after cutting, we green all the parts where is the, the like uh, the nails and all like this. And we will check the color if, if it's good. There is no scratches. And after coming to the stock. This is the finished product. It's also from inside we must wear grinding the place we must fill with resin where it's the uh, where it's the so you can see the glass from inside and I mean it's finished one. We will check where it's no or no bubbles inside and all stuff like this. When we have bubbles we must fill with the kit and after paint. So this is for the, also for the quad velo. Uh, this is the master model for the inner side of the doors for the quad velo. This one is the, for the lights, from the, for the front lights okay. for the quad velo. This one is for, uh, the same for the quad velo, it's wheel cover. Here you can see it's when we found any issue, we must Little repair. Chip there, yes. yeah. So good quality control. Yes. We have all the parts for the when forty five in stock now. Okay. Oh, great. One doesn't say VM forty five. We say, wow, that's. A, uh, don't worry. We won't touch anything. Stefan, can you show me the thing Okay, I, I can give an explanation here. Guys, this is a very special opportunity to see uh, a new development, the VM forty five that we talked to Stefan about. Uh, a little while back on the show. And uh, what's going on right here, Stefan? Yes, so um, in the middle of this part, there's a master model of the central part of the VM45. And uh, the guys here are making the molds around it. And they have already three sides. This is the underside, this is the uh, uh, left side, and, and, and the upper side is ready too. And the last part that they will do 
when the, the underside is finished, is the right side. And, and then after they remove the molds, they can make the final products. And we are waiting for this because we want to assemble the first. Can you give us an idea about the process here? What is this made out of? This is, the stuff, this is what you make the mold from. So these are the forms, right? So how does this work, whoever? So, uh, I mean, maybe start. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we deliver to uh, Alan uh, the master model uh, in foam. Uh, it was milled with a robot, uh, but it was not yet ready. So I, I delivered that, and they finalized the model. And now you can continue. We <coughs> we <coughs> we all grinding, and uh, after we full or with kit, or where is the holes, when is the nose straight, the flat parts, after painting with kit, grinding, painting with kit, and after we painting with the special gel coat, what is like use on the wow, the white one, uh, we grinding this to the, uh, with... Polishing. Yes, okay. to very fine polish, mm. and after we waxing all, and now you can this see what, what it's. And this is the, the, the gel coat, what you see from the inside the mold, this green. On this, we laminating the parts. You can see from this side, I mean, uh -huh. it's finished, uh, or this side. And uh, when we have finished all, coming to the, <laughs> to the yeah. hardest, hardest Operation, then, put all out from this. Yeah, so you will here start to laminate yes. here. Yeah, I didn't get yes. that. So this all, is... All yeah. this is the screw we're coming inside to these pins. Mm -hmm. What you see. And so this is pretty exciting moment for you, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Um, so it's uh, two years of work and now uh, we are closing, close to the end. So... I think next week we will be able to make the first production of sets. Yes, I mean, when, when all coming good, it's next week we can see the first one. Fingers crossed, yes. everybody. This is the what small warehouse of finished parts. Is that yes. where we are right now? And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, some of those. Uh, who, want, who wants to start? Uh, Stefan? So, um, these are a lot of parts uh, from the VM45, which are ready. You just wait till the central part is ready and then this can be glued in. This, for instance, is the right uh, wheel well mm -hmm. and will be glued in the part and it will also then strengthen the whole uh, body. Yeah? And we have for each wheel, we have a different wheel well that will be glued in. This is the, the tunnel, the central tunnel uh, between the front wheels. Here you see, for instance, the... the uh, door, the rear door, which will go open like this. So you recognize the, the form of the Velmo bar. And here we will put the lights, number plates. And this is the front uh, fairing, the nose, how we call it, which will close the Velmo bar. It will be uh, similar like the wow. You can open it and access inside. That's the race hood, which needs still the cutoff. The cutoff we will do together with. For the plexi yeah. inside, we yeah. must, but we, we will see when it's the, the all the finish. And together we will see where we cutting and put inside the plexi. This is also reinforcement. So there are several reinforcements that we designed from the start. And once the first prototypes are ready, we will see if it's strong enough. If it needs to be reinforced on another place, we will develop that afterwards. Uh, yeah, the material used, uh, we, we use on, on the parts where we need real stiffness, we use carbon. Uh, on parts where uh, stiffness is not uh, absolutely priority, we like to include Kevlar. It's Kevlar with carbon, its name is hybrid. Yeah, that's hybrid. Because uh, Kevlar has also nice properties, it will not break that fast. Um, so the combination is a good choice. But it's also something which we start with and uh, after the first prototypes we will decide finally how we continue. It's really interesting to see the collaboration. Not only do you like make the parts for the VM45, 
but you talk about every detail, yes. and then you get feedback when you start working with it, and you'll let Alan know and make changes. So it's a nice collaboration. It seems like you guys work well together, yeah? Yes, it's too many years of the collaboration and uh, any improvements and all, any issues <laughs> sometimes. Right. But it's nice when the final product finally arrives and you see it, that's a lot of hard work. That's, I don't know uh, how much is the now the finish of WAF, how much it's finished by us. When you started to work at it, we, uh, I think we were at number 100, 200. Yeah, the, the complete production of the WAF was uh, production number 210. And now we are at 630. So, so uh, four, 410 numbers that are exclusively for this. Yes, Very it's, good. it's a we long time and a lot of work. Yes, yeah. we well, should be proud because from what I see, you do amazing work. And obviously, <laughs> Stefan agrees with me. So this is a, a, a complicated part of the VM45. It's the door, uh, how you enter inside. And uh, you see that inside there is a big reinforcement from left to right. And uh, if you imagine it on, on the film mobile, then it will be like this closed. And there is a hinge on the left side, which when you open, you open it like this. And so you can get out from the side. Yeah. Here, this is uh, the uh, wheel covers. Mm -hmm. It's for the WAF now, this part. Oh, this is back to the yes, WAF. This, this is back to the WAF. Okay. This is the same for the WAF, it's for the mirrors, the covers. This this seat yeah. we produce for the Azup company. Mm -hmm. This is the normal is with the glass inside. It also we make from the uh, carbon. This is the left part from the quad velo. The main part, the body part. Yes, this is the mode after we putting out the final product. It's not clean at now. So, uh, Alan, we're back to the mold here for the WOW, and looks like uh, we've had a little assembly going on. What's happened? Yes, we put the, uh, all the two parts together, and now we gluing together, like this. It, it's not, not good work, the people are going it's, inside. It's difficult. Yes, yes, it's difficult to work. They're like in a when it's the, When it's the big... Like me, <laughs> I can go in inside, yes. This is, I mean, this is all. We see a number 631. It means that is the 631st wall produced. When we took over from Belgium, uh, we were at number 130 in 2011. It means that we are now uh, more than 500 uh, walls uh, we produced here. And this 631 has already been purchased, yes? Uh, no, this is one that we make on, on stock. We always um, keep a number of white walls in stock. So if somebody wants to order uh, and he doesn't want to wait long, we can really react very soon. And uh, last order, for instance, after uh, order till delivery, it was in Canada, was one month. So we can react really very fast on orders. Nice. How are we doing in here? Hello, you okay in there? <laughs> He's okay. So that was what I thought was just a fascinating tour, fellas. I thank you very much for allowing the laid back Bach report to go inside and really see all the details of, uh, of your hard work. Thank you too, Gary. I'm happy that you could see it live.